The Chicago White Sox hosting the Chicago Cubs, and the White Sox are minus 170 on the money line. The Cubs are plus 150. The over-under is 7.5 runs. The Cubs getting a run on a half are minus 145, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. If they lose by one, you win. The White Sox laying a run and a half are plus 125, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by two. Now, Stroman was a member of the Mets last year. He did not pitch against the White Sox. Cease did pitch against the Cubs. It was last year. Five innings, three runs, three earned. They won that game four to three. The Cubs are on a one-game winning streak. The White Sox are on a two-game slide. Now, head-to-head, -head, the road team's on a three-game winning streak. The White Sox are seven and three against the Cubs in their past ten. The favorite winning the game by two is six and four. The under is five, four, and one, and that's what the casino has said that. The over under at seven and a half is five and five. So five games have gone over, meaning eight runs, and five games have gone under seven runs. I'm going to take the White Sox with the money line, the Cubs with the runs, and the over. I have a feeling that this game is going to be like a five four kind of game. Let's see if the numbers are right. Let's see if the numbers are wrong.